start, you want to tune your guitar to D, A, D, F sharp, A, and D. I typically pay, play it with the uh, capo on the first fret, but I'm not going to for this tutorial. It'll um, be simpler, easier to learn for any beginners. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So first thing you want to do is come down to the seventh fret. Your first finger <clears throat> will be on the first string. You skip a string. Your middle finger will be on the third string. Ring finger will be on the fourth string. And the pattern you're, the pattern you're going to play here is first, fourth, third, and fifth. You're going to play that four times. The next thing you're going to play is um, you're going to lift all your fingers except for your ring finger. So you're lifting the first two, but you're going to keep your ring finger exactly where it is. And you're going to play the exact same pattern three times. On the fourth one, you're going to play that same pattern, but you're going to be coming up to the um, second fret, so you're going to be releasing. releasing. So it'll sound like this. So you're not holding anything on that one, but it's the same pattern. So from the beginning. <clears throat> Once you get to the second fret, after you've released there, um, it's first finger, first string, middle finger, second string, skip a string, and your ring finger on the fourth string. And the pattern here is first, fourth, Second, fifth. You play that twice. Just like that. After you play that twice, you slide up to the third fret. Um, first finger on the fourth string. Then with the other fingers, come to the fourth fret. Well, then that one's still there. It's the middle finger on the first string, fourth fret. <clears throat> Ring finger on the second string, fourth fret. You actually play the same pattern first, fourth, second, fifth. You play that once. It's so all together, it sounds like this. Now, from the beginning, let's do it again. So after that, all you're doing actually is coming back to the 7th fret, and that very first thing we learned, you play that once, so it's 1st finger, 1st string, skip a string, middle finger on the 3rd string, ring finger on the 4th, and the pattern here is 1st, 4th, 3rd, and 5th, you play that once. And then once again you lift all your fingers, like just like from the beginning, except for your ring finger, keep it there, play that same pattern, 1st, 4th, 3rd, and 5th. Play that four times. <clears throat> so, from the beginning. <clears throat> you play that three times at the beginning of the song, so it plays once through. Then you start singing, you took the breath from the hope etc. etc. And um, actually when you get to the third time at the end of it, instead of just playing this once and releasing and playing that four times, um, and you can play with this, but what you're actually going to be doing instead of playing that, lifting on, keeping your ring finger there, you lift on and you bring your ring finger to the fourth uh, the second string on the seventh fret, and you play the same pattern, well, somewhat. You play first, fourth, second, fifth. So it'll sound like this. We'll start from here. It's first, fourth, second, fifth. Um, so you play the first thing I taught you twice, you release there at the end, and then on the third one, you play that other one with the, pulling the uh, 
second string on the seventh fret. So <clears throat> I'm not going to play it all the way through because it takes a minute. Um, but on to the next part. The next part is actually just the second half of what we just learned. Um, but instead of starting here, like you were at the beginning of the song, you just start from the second fret. So what we learned in the second fret, which was first finger, first string, middle finger, second string, skip a string, ring finger on the fourth string, and you play first, fourth, second, fifth. Play that twice. Come to the third fret, first finger, fourth string, and then you, with your other fingers, you reach over to the fourth fret, and it's middle finger on the top string, ring finger on the second, and you play the same pattern, first, fourth, second, fifth. Play that once. Slide up to the seventh fret. Start again with that. Play that once. And then you come up to the, instead of doing that release, you do that other one where you play the, where you hold down the uh, second string on the seventh fret. All right, so <clears throat> you play that series there four times. Um, and so, when you play there, um, I'll just go ahead and play it through, but you can skip through this if you need to. The song is literally the exact same thing from the first part of the song. You play that twice. The only thing that changes is once you get to the end of um, the song and you've played everything through, uh, it kind of goes, it finishes up like this basically. Playing those same things you learn, but in chords. So you come up here, first finger, first string, second finger, middle finger, second string, ring finger, fourth string. The next one we learned up here. And then there you just slipped all your fingers except for your first finger. Keep it there where it is. Play that twice. Again, start from there, instead of lifting and playing that one, on the third time, you come up to the seventh fret, uh, hold down the fourth string and play that. So <clears throat> the end of it will sound like this all together. transitions there. Um, I don't know exactly how many times a song does it and it, it is definitely played a little differently than the original. Um, I've seen him play it a few different ways and 
everyone seems to play differently, even um, Ali himself seems to play it differently every time he plays it. Um, but that's it. It's, uh, it's not the easiest song to learn, um, especially for beginners. It took me a month straight of playing it, practicing it, um, to really learn it as a beginner. And uh, what helped me though, for anybody that needs um, improvement and has a hard time, of course, with finger strength and all that, other than just simple finger exercises you can do, um, <clears throat> what helped me is learning the left hand separately. So just practicing the third things you learn, just holding those down as if you're playing here, but you're not. Just memorizing and learning and getting used to and comfortable with the, with the, just the strings. And then actually learning the right hand separately helped me too. Just separating it um, and then after however long you need, you bring it together. Helps a lot. It's kind of the same with piano. Sometimes you have to um, learn songs differently and separately, uh, especially as a beginner. So I hope you guys like the tutorial and I hope this helps you guys out. Good luck.